still drive it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't. Hello, you good people out there. It is, I've missed a day for well known reasons that you all know of, and I'm now. You've seen the cut off, right? You've seen the seat, how I've cut it off. Right now, the bolt holes are 340 apart. So there's one there, and there's one there. Right? Um, I don't have to go further forward because the seat at that hole is already quite a bit more forward than the original okay so and if we need to go higher we can always put a spacer in and go for a longer bolt so all I need to do now the hang on look on the board 270 is the distance between the back and the front so I basically need to weld a bar across here um, and then strengthen up I don't know if you, you focus there's bits of weld missing here and there right and then I will strengthen this corner up and drill the hole through both layers of steel and I'll put a stronger bracket across the back right and then I can drill holes through those then the bolts will still be accessible um, the nuts I should say the bolts that go through there's still enough room for them to put them through. It's tight at the front, but I wanted to leave them as close to the front as possible. Um, the seats can always go back. And um, and it's something you do out, well, while it's out of the car anyway. It's not like you, it's something you have to do all the time. Um, they happen to be standard 12 mil bolts that go into the bottom of the seats 12 mil metric screw in there really nicely um, that's why I keep jars and containers full of nuts and bolts and washers they're always handy so that's what I'm up to now I nearly have time to pick up my daughter um, so basically I need a bit of flat bar to go from there to there but something of reasonable thickness I mean that may be 1.2 millimeters or something I may have something laying around I could probably use a bit of angle iron uh, yeah I'll probably use a bit of angle iron like, like this and just trim it out like trim it out and then drop it down and then weld it across there there and all the way down the side so that's the plan so far come back here you oops the light always the light here I am young fella and um, that's the plan so far that's what I've done just sat here thought and measured and of course look through my scrap pile to see what I've got and and I've got some angle iron that is a lot thicker a lot thicker probably more thicker than it needs to be but hey you can't go wrong with over engineering can we so um, when I get ready for welding I'll film again Doodaloo, bye bye for now 
Okay, so some of this steel is left over from the roofing of the shed. So if it's strong enough to hold that, are you sure it will hold the back of the seat? close my eyes before I started cutting to protect my eyes you may not have seen that so please in the comments don't say you started cutting before you used your glasses well I'm going to try and let you see what I'm doing here extend the tripod Alright, so I've got my angle cut to size, so I'll put this down so I don't mumble with my lid in my mouth. So I basically have to notch this bit out. Hmm, need a new marker. Right, so if I notch that little bit out, it can go down, and this can be the flat surface on top, and being angle iron, it will give it a super lot of strength, and I can weld across here, across the side, across the front, and also tack weld it down below. Super strong. I'll do the same on the other side. I'll roughly guess that you're looking and I'll scrape the shit out of this drying up texture marker, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, it's, that's enough. I can still see that. And I'll go and cut these out. Right? And then I'll put them in place, measure the 270, right, to the center of that. And that's where it's got to be welded into place. And then once it's welded in, I'll drill the holes. Bob's your uncle. hard for me I'm so unfit sometimes I think I'm not even fit enough to sit on my ass on the couch <laughs> uh, right and there it is in a trifle position um, all I've got to do now is clean up the welding bench set up the MIG and uh, strengthen it all out hmm? see All nicely tucked in, ready to be welded in many, many places. I already used the grinder to clean off some of the red paint so I don't have any welding problems. But that's what the back of the seat will be bolted to, which is a lot stronger than the original frame. And um, not a hundred percent sure yet how I'm going to strengthen this, but I'll do that when it's on the welding bench. I'll have a look at it. Um, I honestly don't think I'll need to do a lot. I mean, if I just, you know, do a full weld here, full weld there, and um, if I can weld a really couple of big really big washers on there that would probably do the job 
Yeah, I'll be happy with that. If I can weld a big washer on top, I'll have a couple, and then drill the 12, the 10 mil hole through that. For the point of that, eh, it's probably a 10 mil hole for a 12 mil bolt because it's the size of the head, the 12 mil, the spanner size. And uh, that should do it. Um, should I? Excuse me. I wonder if I just weld it all up and trust that it's good enough. Um, oh, I'm running like a river. Excuse me. I've got sweat in my eyes and it's stinging me. <laughs> and just go by gut feeling that it will be fine for my darling wife I'm quite sure it will be it's about 75 mil further forward or 3 inches or more and the same up I mean, when I'm sitting here, I can't even put the seat all the way forward. I end up with my knees picking my nose. <laughs> so, um, no, I'll do the right thing. I'll just tack them in place, drill the holes. I won't strengthen anything up. I'll do it right. I'll make sure. Otherwise, it may be a lot of work to undo it all. But then, if it needs to go up anymore, like I said, it just need to put some spaces in, you know, like, and just get some of these bolts that are a bit longer. Um, I doubt very much it need to go forward anymore. Uh, if she'd have to go forward, right, I would have to weld a flat bar from there. Oops, excuse my camera madness. To overlap the front. Anyway. So it wouldn't really matter still needs to be welded into place and then I could drill a hole into the flat bar there oops excuse my camera my cameraman I'm gonna fire him soon <laughs> and yeah no I'll just finish no 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 Ricky 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 <laughs> I'll do the right thing and ask her first. Because, you know, that's the type of hubby I am. Anyway, I'm going to set this up for welding and I'll show you how I go. Well, I was setting up my welder and I turned on the gas and all of a sudden. I forgot I got a flat gauge flat gauge it's, it's a new technological thing you know on special here you can buy it if you want but lucky for me to my Kelm Scott came to rescue so I'm just going to fit this thing up and um, I'll show you what I'm up to. Well, here we are, all set up. They are a bit exposed, aren't they, if these bottles fall over. If I've got a permanent place for this bottle, I should probably put like a, a chain or something around here, right? So the bottle never falls over. Um, expensive to keep the place on the gauges 
Um, just going to run a few test laps. I forget the settings. Or I think I welded pretty thick metal with it last time. So uh, I'll do that first. But this is how I've got it set up. I've got it clamped. Hang on. I've got it clamped to my desk. All right. I've got it earthed out. But that's in the right place. I've got my safety gear, I've got my gloves, I've got my helmet somewhere here. <laughs> on the only thing is I might get a little bit of sunburn on my arm but I don't think I'll be welding enough to do that so I'm just gonna run some test laps and I'll show you what's going on okay I don't think you guys have ever seen me weld before or well, maybe you have I don't know forget so I've double checked the measurements Made sure nothing here has moved. I've checked the settings on a bit of scrap metal from the chair. I've got good penetration. Um, so I hopefully won't burn through that. But I'll have to aim a lot of the heat at the thick steel. And not so much at the chair. But what I'll do is I'll tack this side. And then I'll re-measure that side because if you weld here, the cooling of the metal can twist it and then it's out of measurement. That gauge makes a funny rumbly sound like my other one didn't do that. Yeah. Alright, so I'm looking at 270, yes. That's close enough. I'll tap this side. I'm not going to adjust the camera. You hear that funny thing? Mm. Anyway, I hope you saw that. Um, it's tacked into place. I'm going to finish it and show you what I've done. I don't think the camera was aiming at the job, but just in case, here you go. I haven't got my contact lenses yet. But yeah, there's a tacked on that side. And I've tacked it on that side. So, I'll finish welding it, clean it up, and I'll show you what I've done. Well, there she is all welded up, tapped in the corners, right. washers all welded on and cleaned up, yeah, give it a bit of extra strength. All I've got to do now is drill a couple of holes at the back and then I can bolt the seat onto the frame and then it's time for test fitting. Ooh, I 
I do a turn around? Oh, you ugly mug. God, I looked at the camera. I'm, you know, it's got the screen on. I looked at myself. I scared the shit out of myself. Oof. Don't you do that too often. Give myself a heart attack. <laughs> so, I, I've actually got sweat dripping like raindrops off a roof down the back of my head. It's almost five. I'll probably drill the holes and fit the seat. But I won't put it in the car today. But I hope you enjoyed watching this and seeing how I went about it. And uh, I don't know, hopefully it'll give you some idea of what you can do yourself at home. Um, you know, a lot of this stuff, yes, I've had 50 odd years to collect it all but um, a lot of this stuff you can hire like, like welders and tools you, you can do this stuff yourself with, with, with less tools than what I have honestly like in my early days I probably wouldn't have welded it I probably would have made some brackets and screwed screwed it together <laughs> with tack screws uh, <laughs> not good advice but it's probably what I would have done I would have got a lot bulkier a bit of tin and um, yeah or maybe even a full solid plate and just screwed it to the top and then drilled the holes you know but we change over time um, it's taken me a lifetime to collect my tools and it seems like now I finally have just about everything I always wanted in tool wise. If I don't get better soon, I won't be able to use it. Which is really sad to think of that. If I don't get these operations, I'll be in the shit. And then at least I've owned it. <laughs> Anyway, I'll measure out those holes. I'll use this big square and uh, drill them out. You guys know how to drill holes in a square, right? Yeah, yeah, you do, right? So I don't have to show you that. I'll drill the holes and uh, and I've done that. I'll show you my attempt at putting the seats on the old frames. Um. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> and here we are. All the holes drilled. Ready for test fitting. Well, here we go. <laughs> My wife is very happy, as you can see over the bonnet, or hood as you call it in America. Um, and she can depress the pedals all the way down. Even for such a small car, for me, oh, I'm sorry people, pain. Uh, it's quite big, I guess, being made in Europe. Um, but yeah, we couldn't go much higher. I mean, an inch or so, but she's really high up. She's never had that in the car before. And the seat goes even more forward than that. It's hard to see with that windows in the shed. I'm gonna tint them or something. That's a good idea. Tinting. Tinting. Ting. Ting. So it's not bolted in. I still need to like um need to paint that. And also in the back there's some metal edges. Let me 
Let me see for a second. Where are we? I can't see the camera. Down, gross. Let's see if I need to. If I can still drive it. <laughs> no, I can't. No. <laughs> ah. Woo. No, nah, not really. <laughs> No. <clears throat> no. Ooh. See, it's not drivable for me. <laughs> but then, it's not my car, is it? I've got the Jeep. Two jeeps. I just want this car to be finished and my wife to have a license. That if I get really sick, she still has transport. If something happens to me, she can go places. That's how I feel at the moment, so yeah, it's important for me that she gets her driver's license. So that's why I did this. Um, but yeah, I definitely couldn't drive it like that. But then I'm almost 6'3 and she's 4'7. So, I mean, but we make a great couple, you know. When we lay down in bed, we're the same height. <laughs> ah, I love her to bits, she's awesome. Ah, but I am truly stuffed. The pain now is sort of like the, 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 the going up the staircase. I've got to go inside and have painkillers. Yeah. Please click like if you enjoyed watching this. I certainly enjoyed making it. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll show you the chair when it's all finished, when it's painted black and I've removed the sharp edges of the back and I'll show you how it's bolted. But I'm really, really, really happy that my wife is happy that she hopefully now has the confidence to drive me. Anyway, have a good one out there. Be happy, take care of yourselves. Love and peace and all that stuff. Take care of each other. Bye-bye.